Boom! We are live. Everything is correct. Life is good. So, Matt, uh, this is the only time I'm going to say your tag. Uh, you are Gooch Canoe. Yeah. You call me Gooch. No, nope. they can call you Matt. <laughs> I. <laughs> you know what you've done. You know what you've done. Dude, I tried to change. I really have. But everyone I, still calls me Gooch. That's their problem. <laughs> It's just, it's just such a bad word. It's just not a fun word. It's a little bad. It's a little... It's not awful. Actually, let me do Marth. For their, I can use yours. Why not? Um, so, what you... Is that the skin you're using? I'm just picking a color that's different than yours. Calm down. I'm disgusted. Get used to it. <laughs> so, something you... One of the biggest things you wanted to talk about was... Kind of how to let me let me actually bring it up. You phrased it very accurately. Uh, where is it? It's I feel like a little bitch when I try to go in. I always get dashed back on or muscled through with both carrots I play. So basically, there's a lot of or not a lot. There's a few different things that can be. You terrify me. No, mine's faster. It is faster. Good job. I'm not breaking my stick box for this. Nope. I'm, I'm using sledge crawling. This is my technique. I'll ask you about that later. <laughs> so, right. basically, when you're approaching, like, right with your nair. Here, let me, um, let me actually. So, this situation happens a lot. You're saying where they dash back away or they kind of just hit you, like, are you saying they also hit you, like, here? Yep. Where we literally just did the two different scenarios right there. Perfect. So. Or they'll just CC and eat it. Yeah, hey, now that you can CC this move, finally. Yeah. Stop, stop crawling. <laughs> it's making this kind of... Stop it. <laughs> right. That one. Yep. You can also use different moves. So, uh, we'll get to that in a second. So, basically, the reason that you're having trouble and you're, it feels scary to commit to this, like, you know, this running nair, for instance, is because you're doing it at a spacing that is, you're not mixing up the spacing a ton. So, what I mean by that is, go ahead and stop moving, just so I can show you. So, if we're in neutral, you're aiming at the opponent where they are right now. And you're not trying to go too far or too close. But going too far or too close is actually really useful in some ways. So, uh, again, instead of trying to aim where you are, like if I, if I aim like in front of you, that can be a safe way to, or I guess especially with back air, right? Safe way to poke without really being risky. Uh -huh. And then... You know, so especially a higher percent where this is the reward. It's like, oh, cool. We're going off stage. You pushed a corner. So it's like covering those approaching options. And it can also, importantly, it'll catch approaches. So like that, where the, the run in. Because normally if I tried to like catch you like that, you, you know, you swap sides with me. Whereas if I just kind of like poke here, it's also safer to CC. Here, go ahead and uh, perish for me real quick. That way you can go back to zero. So here, we'll use we'll use Nair again, right? Go ahead and like CC, try to CC punish me on this. You get that grabber, you at the very least get good pressure versus he, if I only end up here, there's not really a ton you can do to me if it's space. Especially if you whiff a button, and now uh, that's the problem. Wait, wait, wait. I want to try something. Okay, okay. Do it again? Oh, wait. That's <laughs> invincible. <laughs> okay. Yep. CC run is just like a good option in either direction. So, for example, if you... I'm kind of hypercent, but if you just CC... 
If you CC run up grab, for instance, on this Nair, then even if it's space, you still get pressure, but it's not as guaranteed. It's really, really strong, though, for that reason, because it's it's not just CC down tilt. I don't have to worry about just the down tilt on just the character that has the... What? Yeah, have you not seen that? Okay, I, I thought it was a little more consistent than it ends up being. That's wild. One more time. There you go. Oh, yeah, the crawl. That makes sense. Yeah, because it's the... Like, by spacing this out... Or in this... In the instance of the approach, right? Like, undershooting. Where it'll hit if you run into it. But it won't... It won't, like hit that CC. It won't give them the the like CC to react to. Okay, okay, okay. Then you can really like cut off their approach like preemptively in that way. Um, okay, cross the stage. One more, one more. There we go. Yep. If you know where they're going to be, you can also, like, depending on the move you're expecting, you can run up shield to throw off their timing. You can, like, put your own aerial there. That's why it's so important to mix up your spacing. This undershooting and overshooting I'm talking about. So, let's say you're trying to pivot up tilt uh, my approach, but I undershoot. And I don't actually end up as far, right? I'll use bear. Like, there's definitely worlds where now I'm I'm specifically yeah, back airing your up tilt. So it's like, it's a, you're now giving them more to worry about also. Um, okay, let's talk about overshooting real quick. Let me go ahead and restart the timer. Just look at me split. Yeah, that's a music thing, I think. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, no, no, now they're jumping off the screen, I'm assuming, on your end. Yeah, I'm good. Great. These things are weird. Um, so for overshooting is the opposite of that. You know, you know when Renee would just like back da or dash back brawl grab you from like half screen. Yep. That's really really good because of the way that the turnaround grabs work for most of the cast. Like you can back up and have a grab box and you're closer to ledge. It's just, it's just really good. The way to get around that is by overshooting. Uh, it's safe. To, undershooting is still safe to this too, because you don't actually commit to all that horizontal range. So, like run up, shield stop, Nair, for instance. Like anything to kind of like go less far than is expected. That was a wild up tail through grab. I saw that. Um, overshooting is the opposite. So basically, go ahead and stop moving for a second. If if I think you're going to dash back grab, I don't want to aim here. I want to aim here. So I'll do this. I'll aim behind you. So for example, go ahead and try to dash back. In general, try to dash back as I approach you. That's something you can use to really, really kind of like catch somebody dashing away. What do people do if they see you trying to overshoot? Like what's the normal response to that? Um, if they have something queued up, then they, that works, they might do that. So for example, if they're gonna up tilt, if I'm gonna up tilt your approach where I'm at and I see you start to overshoot, I can just press it because you, you have to hit your button later, right? It takes more time to get to where I want to go for the overshoot than it does for the normal attack or for the normal range. Uh, so, and it, like, for example, if you're, if you're doing the Marth fair in place, right? They'll like, get, a, get away from me. And you try to overshoot this, then a lot of the times they'll run into the attack. I love running slowly. Um, additionally, shield can be, depending on the specific move you pick, it can be shield, shield, or like out of shield options can be better or worse against it. 
So, for example, if if you think that I if I think that you're going to overshoot, or rather, I think that you are not going to overshoot, but you end up overshooting a zero suit. A lot of the times, it'll might depending on percent, it might just be oh CC get out, or you know, or like oh CC scrap, like, or you know, sh out of shield, back air, out of shield, pressure. Maybe you'd like set up a shield grab, because it depends a lot on your how your back facing shield options are. So for characters like Ike, or characters that have really solid out of shield all around, like Marth, we're not maybe not really solid, but like no huge holes. They can kind of just treat it as normal. If they have something in the back. Right. And against a character like Zero Suit, I guess Zero Suit back air, she's tall enough for that to work. Yeah, absolutely. Oop. Control Ledge Dash. Oops. How do you jump out of shield? I just press the button. I just press the, the button. I have L jump, but for me to hover stuff. Because I used the C stick, and uh, I think I need to stop doing that because it I get a grab because I go too fast from jump to A. You use the C stick to jump. Out of shield. Right, but then how do you get the grab when you're going from jump to A if you're not using the jump button? Because you still jump, and so when you do, if you press A during the jump spot, you get the grab. Oh, oh, that's weird. I guess if you're trying to get that nair, you do have to be really fast. Yeah, yeah, that's something to practice then, because using the jump button gives you a lot more control over that. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about the. Air, it's easier to do inch the the faster out of uh, out of shield aerials. What that mean? Okay. All right, let me fight you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, got a little distracted, but yeah, overshooting and undershooting is basically. They're tools. Here, always Meta Knight. Because I can kind of play Meta Knight, and he, he can do this really well, too. Yeah. They're tools to just mess up spacing. So that way, you're unpredictable, and it's not just the same, like... Yeah, so it's that way it's not just the same consistent spacing. Don't know what to expect kind of deal. Ooh, nice pivot. I was dead anyway, I don't feel bad about that. I'm a moron. So for stuff like that, sometimes you have to be just ready for the CC. Like a low percent, there are some angles where you approach at that you're just going to get CC'd, depending on the move. I didn't jump. Yeah. 
Because up there cape is not super easy. It's not super hard, but it's also not super easy. I think chasing like weird DI is hard with it. It feels good to be able to go out there. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, the um, just the ability to like mix up your horizontal spacing is really, really useful for like your kind of characters, the characters that you seem to like to play. Yeah, characters that can move a little bit. It's also very easy with moves that have a lot of active frames. So for like Meta Knight Nair, even Zero Suit Nair. Both alive. Top three character privilege. Ah, Meteor's not on screen. What are you talking about? Are oh, you right? Oh, you're in middle. Yes, I am. And then that should be yeah. Even if that one doesn't kill, the next one is out of tethers. Baited, for sure. I'm so bad. I was gonna go for it, and then I just screwed it up. Yeah, you gotta miss the tech first for that. Oh, from the jump, you mean? Yeah, so I don't. I jumped way higher than I thought I was going to. You want to DI that one away, even if it is still a tech chase. It's better than the alternative. Yeah. The uh, Meta Knight down throw, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, way too far. But it'd be so rad if it worked, though. <laughs> I invented that. You invented that? I stole yeah. it. That's, 
the goo. <laughs> you know, that one kind of works. Okay, I did an SD. Good hype. <laughs> At the very end, after I did all the hard stuff. But yeah, for how much you like using the horizontal space, like you don't really seem to love the platforms a ton. Like that doesn't seem to be like what you're going for a lot of the time. Not really. Which is fine. This is gonna help you get a lot of like mix up into that, even into just going on the same. Ooh, Ooh yeah, she's got those. I will I will take the SD. <laughs> I thought I was facing the right. Whatever, I'm not Nice wiggle. Yeah. No, I texted it. That's cheating. Trying to kill me with these with these up bees. Not a fan. I'm going to. <laughs> Why did I think the up smash would hit prone zero suit? No, I'm so sad. What? I even know I can do that. Like, actually just do it. Oh, you mean before, like, get the timing or angle, like, that you just SD? Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, that was the, the, the above 100% one, so that might have made a difference. Why do I think I can duck that? That's just me being dumb. <laughs> I'm I'm smart. Love it. Let's go. It was so close, though. No, not the sour spot. No. Yeah. That makes me sad. That hurts. Dude, like, that's the kind of shit I just want to do on a stream. I'm just somebody who's really good. Well, you got halfway there. <laughs> That's the kind of dangerous part about having like an option queued up, which you kind of like have to do to an extent, is that if you if it was the, a bad option for, no, nice. If it was a bad option, in a, it, or if it was a good option in the situation you started, but it isn't a good option now, then it's hard to like change it. Can I say that again? So like you had the CC down tilt queued up, but as you got pushed a little closer to ledge, that like became fall off down air, which oh, becomes yeah, yeah. bad. That was down B. I probably would have died anyway, so I don't mind it. I thought I had my jump. Nay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny, though. It, it almost worked. Nice. Oh, too low. Yeah. So something else that can help um, when it feels like somebody's dashing back or like running through all your stuff is using verticality. So like full hopping over something. <laughs> yeah, it can, it can depend. It depends a little bit more on the move.
But like that's another that's another part of spacing that you have control over with zero suit jump, especially, is where vertically you are. I thought I had one more jump. <laughs> I love when you just hear the jab. It's supposed to be F-tilt every time, I promise. Oh, you did me. I did the math? You did, you did the gooch. No! <laughs> Don't you ever accuse me of whatever that is. <laughs> you did it. You did the gooch. I did the thing that you're really good at, Matt. Yeah. I need to you know, change some things about my approach, clearly. Like, DIing in on that less might help. It's not a mix-up. I'm just not doing the good thing. No, I tried to hit it. Hey, hey, for me. Is that what he's saying? For me? I have no idea. I thought he was saying, come to me. No, it's only like two syllables, though. Come to me. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> That's not how syllables work. Oh, uh, I said two, so that is how it works. It feels good to finally hit that in that zone. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I held super out. Oh, that, that's addicting. That feeling is good. I like this feeling. Nice. I think you would go for it.
<laughs> not uh, not my finest hour. Nice. I didn't think you would just commit to it without the jump. That's like, that's the dopamine I'm looking for. <laughs> Heck yeah. I can't believe I tried to regret that. It's a very common thing. And it's like it didn't work out. Do it again. Yep, there you go. Oh no. That was a pretty greedy wave dash. Nice tech though. Ah, uh, too low. It was rad though, he said four. Yeah, he's saying four, like, cause he's a golfer. I'm mean, still baited the spot dodge regardless. I will I will take it, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, metal. Oh, I'm ahead. starting to see it now. Like when it happens to me, I'm like, oh, don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, like you have the like awareness of it now. So you're seeing when I'm when I'm undershooting or overshooting, and you and like you have a name for the thing that you probably already did at least a little bit of, just like because it's a good ah. So funny. Do you think I regret any of that? Nope. Nope. Um, yeah, basically during during the cape. <laughs> yeah, you're freaking you're you're thick when you're in the cape. Yeah, but if it hit though. 
If it hit, you were holding straight out, and everything turned out great. I was definitely going towards you. I hit my C-stick on exit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm owned. 100% owned. Oh, shit. God, that's terrifying. You're willing to just like run at me too. That's that's literally why I made the video. Or why I made the request because I want to run at people. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you exert a lot of pressure the way that you, like, structure your offense around being grounded a lot. Because your characters are very threatening when grounded. Like, Zero Suit Up Throw isn't, like, the best throw in the game, but it's very, very solid. If it works. Obviously, Meta Knight and Lucario. Oh! Lucario is better than ZSS, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, even with grounded options, not even just with aerials, but doing like overshoot down tilt can get you hits in different places than you might have expected. It's fine, I got hype. Oh. I goofed bad. That's been me. 80, 70 times in a row. <laughs> it's a it's a weird confirm for sure. I'm owned. I'm so owned. <laughs> that was that was absurd. Oh, the legendary, the purported sour spot hitbox on back air. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's not the sour spot. Don't you dare. <laughs> Me too. Oh! That's super. Up there's a good move. I don't like you looking at me for this long. Do my job. 
It took you jump. You jumped in a bead and I hit you out of your up bead. What do you mean it took you? Acting like the game's stolen something that it owes you. No, your move took my jump. Because you jumped into my move. What do you mean my move took your jump? It was aggressive, so it stole it. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time for the sake of it. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of it for the sake of it. Their CC run. Yeah, that one's easier because I don't have to do two things at once. I just got to jump. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, goodbye. What? I was holding down. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, sour is fine. I'm depression. I tried to jump out of that. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I moved. Messed up. I'll be, that's fine. It was a one billion percent. I haven't seen this before, so I know it's not real, but I'm figuring it out in real time, okay? I don't play fast fallers. Oh, no. Nice. How am I messing that up? Are you getting that backwards? I'm jumping away from stage. No, not on purpose. Uh-oh. No. Don't be greedy. You don't get to drift back on stage. No, 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 Matt. Yeah, not even close. I always forget how little distance that move actually goes with regards to like recovering. Yeah, it's, 
it's pretty, it's a lot shorter than you think. No. Whew, I will take that. I was holding super in that direction. Oh no. Yeah, that was a uh, that was CC at 100%. No. <laughs> okay. I can probably steal at least a little bit of percent. Twenty's good. <laughs> Oh, 21! There we go. You mean me too. Me too? Okay. I was just doing MK because, like, I'm super, super bad at, like, left writing and doing horizontal threat. But I can kind of play Mennonite okay enough to, like, do that. Yeah, whenever I play your Mewtwo, it's usually, like, you're out muscling me. That's the other thing. So, like, too close? Like, you're, be you're making me not do what I want to do. Which is the point. Yeah, I did a really dumb double jump thing from ledge. I didn't think of a jab reset. Oh, that sucks. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. I'm I'm a, I'm a mega floaty. Yeah. Zero complaints about my longevity there. I'll go down there. I got time. 
But though, imagine. I meteored. That is unfortunate. Three point six, if only. And three point six, that would have hit. <laughs> I should shield at some point when I'm doing that. happening <laughs> so nasty with it you got that kill Don't scare us in this game. Oh, I had that. And I keep doing that. Not work. Because yeah, I picked a slower option. I got, I got scammed. I got scammed. <laughs> I, I got scammed out of twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, but this is all related to timing too. Like it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. That's fine. You got scammed again. <laughs> Yeah, with characters that can mix up their timings very easily. So like Mewtwo teleport versus Mewtwo runs, obviously very different. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, with characters that can mix up their timing really easily, like fast characters or characters with burst movement that don't have to use their burst movement, Then that that's an also an aspect. Yeah. 
My slides, that's what I get. Yeah, yeah. But if it hit, though. It did something. Oh, I had everything. Oh, okay. I was wondering, trying to figure out what I hit you out of, and I couldn't figure it out. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Shield there, you maniac. Oh, wait. I'm. Let's go. We're both so bad. <laughs> wait, you won? <laughs> yeah! I had more lives than you, Matt. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought we were both on the last time. What is happening? Oh, I didn't think you would just DI a hard in. I will take my luck. How dare you? Yeah, my brain's huge. Never mind. Infinitely small. <laughs> For the back airs, you've got to just kind of DI a what you want to, if you can, if you're at high enough percent, you want to DI far enough away 
to where you're not going to get hit by the next one. At low percent, that just means D-I-N, because you're going to get hit by the next one. Impossible. Yeah, that's correct. I've made an error. side I was going to get hit on. Yeah, it's easier to hit the, the weak hit on the reverse hit side. Yeah, but if that Nair hits, though. <laughs> it hits me all the time. Not a lot tonight. I thought it would hit. Oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's... Nice. Oh, I didn't even grab. I wouldn't have even grab ledge even if you weren't there. <laughs> you know what I'm pressing. <laughs> F smash, CC, F smash. Yeah. 
go! <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, Matt! <laughs> At zero! Down the last one. Yeah, that last one you probably shouldn't be holding down on. Not a three stock. All right. Not a three stock. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Oh, real quick, while we're on Metal Cavern. Okay. So something that like uh, your fast characters can do that floaties can't do as well. If you do, if you get a full run and then drop, you keep a lot more momentum than you expect. Oh shit. Yeah, a narrow out of that is just oh, it's awful. It's absurd. Okay, that's nasty. It's almost not exclusively Metal Cavern, but it's easiest on Metal Cavern for sure. Three, one, go. Damn it. Three point six, I miss you. That dare to kill me off the top. That had so much heart. I agree, it did have a lot of heart. Oh, I oh. that way. <laughs> Up throw slow enough to where you don't have to worry about it. Like, worry about the, uh... Worry about a DI mix-up of any kind.
Matt. <laughs> A moment. Yep. <laughs> Here, let's go ahead and do a best of five. Right. Um, you can ban first. All right. Oh. Surely there's no way. Okay, yeah, you're literally in the bubble. <laughs> Yeah, I should come on stage. Oh no! No, you wanted to go to the wall, right? You're right. What the fuck? My down B. Hey, B buttons. Oh, this is before it Yeah, nice. Yeah. Seven, dude. No. Yeah, he did. No, oh, she knew. She knew. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You're good. All right. I'm going here again. That works. That's hilarious that it turned out that way, though. I think that that is truly, Ripley's believe it or not, truly the most ridiculous thing I've seen in this game ever. Are you okay? Uh, That's understandable.
I missed it. AC, let's go. Hit my life. You can it. Oh no. <laughs> no, the forest dog. No JV. Damn. JV. No JV. No JV. <laughs> Reasoning is that I don't want a small stage and walls and triplat. Yeah, still punish. Nice come back to ledge. <laughs> Even zero suit with all our all our speed just running. Nice, good slide off. Yep. I'll SDI the shit out of that move. <laughs> no! <laughs> I did it. 
Yeah, I'm being body, man. Yeah, let's fucking go. Alright. See, you shouldn't be afraid of Battlefield. <laughs> you know the teleport stuff is just like borderline, not even, not silly, but like, it's, it's not consistently good. It's just kind of like scary. Yeah, I'm scared. Hey, you know, that's fair. There are your bands. You good? Yeah. Oh shit. Nice. Oh, you're crazy. You saw it. So you saw it. <laughs> happening Yeah. Nice SDI. Nice. Yeah, that is a good kill confirm. Good games, Matt. Getting there, getting there. Hopefully, I've been able to help you kind of show you the like how undershooting and overshooting looks on fast fallers and floaties. Yeah, I'm starting. To, yeah, I think I'm starting to get it a little bit. Also, gotta get adjusted to like because like every top of your play is like way different. Yeah, like, like so, like adjusting. I think being able to adjust to all the possibilities that you showed me on the fly is also really important. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of like generalizations you can usually make about a player slash the play that you're playing against. So like if they pick Fox, assume that they're gonna tech toward center stage until proven wrong, right? Sure. You know, if they pick Zard, assume they're gonna do the good ledge dash and be aggressive because they have like ten galint frames. You know. Things like that. And like Mewtwo freaking What's, what is it called when you do the float from ledge into just standing there? And there's a fan, there's a lot of fancy words that technically are correct, but it's just like when he has hover below 100, his ledge dash is really good. 
Uh, so it's called Violet Dashing. It's absolutely not called Violet Dashing. Alright, so how do I Violet Dash as best as possible? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> do you mean like as me too? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Gotcha. Oh, call, pick me too, real quick. Call Violet. Oh, I, I think I know how to do it. Hold on. You only need one button, don't worry. So you go to ledge, and then go ahead and do what you think you gotta do. Yep, it's that easy. You get like 11, and because it's tournament winner, that's, there's a three frame buffer on it. There's a three frame buffer on the tournament winner, Wait. so it's very easy to get that frame perfect. Uh, I'm a violet dasher. It's not called that. You do need to basically have gotten to ledge without jumping or up being, though, which is usually just when you retreat to ledge so you can get involved down tilt. Or just, like, involved hover. Oh! Oh! That's why it doesn't work sometimes, because I already teleported. Yeah! Insane in that brain. But just, like, the like, idea... Huh, I, I, I guess I'm just violet dashing wrong. Please stop. Turning winner hover nil. But that's just really hard to say. Yeah, Violet Dashing sounds way better. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think if you try to strong arm it, no one's gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, if I die on this hill... Yeah, absolutely. If I die on the hill, then everyone will let me die there and just put up with it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna challenge you to number one Mewtwo, nobody. I'm not the number one Mewtwo. Faye is active that's again, sick. and she is super good. Who? Uh, she used to go by Frozen. Asked? <laughs> no, I'm gonna get... If I get shit for this, it's your fault, Matt. She's gonna show up at your house and like, yo, $100, fight me. <laughs> I'm gonna say, Violet was talking so and, much. No, we have the VODs. I literally wasn't. Faye, you're great. She said there was something called Violet Dashing? Okay, thank y'all for hanging out. This is the end of the stream. If you want to check the, the lesson VODs there in the link below or on the YouTube channel you're already on. See ya.